I'm Anna Wood. I am the owner of RenderBay.com, a render farm for SolidWorks and Moto 601. Uh, so I get to do a lot of rendering and work with a lot of systems, um, processing renders out. And I'm um, talk a little bit today about um, the render, or the let's say the box computer, the W4920. That's a six core. Core i7 system that's been overclocked to uh, let's see 4.75 gigahertz here, um, and I've, what I've got here is a SolidWorks model of a set of speakers uh, that Rob Rodriguez did for me, and I'm going to going to render this and kind of show the speed of the the box 4920 and and how fast it really renders these models out. Uh, I've got set up a couple speakers with a subwoofer and I'm going to do a 1080p render and we'll, we're just going to go up to best right now not really do maximum because it takes just a little bit too much time and render settings are tweaked pretty high. Uh, so we'll set that up and I'm going to put up the final render window here. And here we go we've got that popped up and you can see that the uh, the system's running at 4.75 gigahertz, which is probably that's just extremely fast system. It's stable. It's really extremely quiet. The system has uh, it's a water cooled system, and it's uh, it's wicked fast and it's whisper quiet. I'm just I'm just amazed at how quiet the system is for the speed that you get out of it. I can see here we've got 12 threads going at, uh, at basically 100%. You see the buckets moving on screen here. Each one of these little buckets represents a render thread, so there's 12 of these kind of chasing themselves around on the screen. And this will, I'm not sure how long this will take. It might take about a minute and a half to do this render. Up here in the Moto, or I should say Photo View 360 um, statistics here, it's kind of nice. You can see how long the pre-processing time took for this for your GI passes, and then we're kind of looking at the total elapsed time for this frame. Now this is the interesting part of the animation here. This grill work here takes a little bit more time to do so you can kind of see the bucket slowing down a little bit. This is where a fast system is really nice to have is to be able to, for each one of these threads to, to, to really quickly process these uh, intense areas here. Yeah, here we go. It took this particular rendering took about two minutes, 38 seconds, 39 seconds, which is pretty nice. This isn't a super long render here, but if you're um, if you do a lot of rendering and you um, you need a, you need to kind of compress that render time that you do during the day, you know, a system like this that's with the high clock speed will will just rip through your renders.